There's the old Mississippi River. So they are sending us to Alton, Illinois. We're coming up here to the Imperial Manufacturing Group. I think this one, yep. Imperial Manufacturing Group to pick up a load and we're taking it all the way down to Valdosta, Georgia. What's going on everybody? How are y'all doing? Hope everybody is well. So back with another video and today we are on the way to Wentzville, Missouri. Finally get a change. We uh, get to go to the Midwest. It's been a little while since I've been out here but kind of excited. Change of scenery. I always like going different places instead of my normal back and forth from the Georgia to the Carolinas and Florida. You know just it's nice to get out of those areas every now and then. I would actually prefer to do these long runs every week, you know, as long as it gets me back home on the weekends, but I get it. They can't do a lot of them because, you know, as I said before, they can't guarantee getting you home. But enough of all of that crap. We uh, picked up in Adairsville, Georgia yesterday. We picked up at the Shaw. I got, um, look like a bunch of carpet strips on here and uh, some thresholds and things of that sort. But we are taking them to the Shaw in Wentzville. It's been a long time since I've been here. I've been here uh, a couple times with my trainer. It's uh, right through St. Louis. I'll try to, uh, if I can think about it, and traffic's not too hectic, I'll try to grab my camera and get a little bit of footage through St. Louis, maybe try to get the arch for some of you that hadn't seen it. but. What, what the no, wait a minute what, what am I talking about I say it's for the people that hadn't seen it I mean everybody's got Google what was I thinking all right so, so, so forget that I don't know why I even said that get the arch for some of you that hadn't seen everybody has seen the daggone thing if you hadn't go Google it or no 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 if you hadn't watch my video yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> gosh when I left Adairsville yesterday, yesterday evening it was raining. I uh, stopped right when I got into Tennessee. And it started really pouring down. Weather got real bad. It was raining hard. And I got up this morning and it was not a real hard rain, just a steady mist. And it would get light and harder, you know, the more down the road I would go. So I'm really glad to see the sun out. Blue skies turning out to be a really really nice day still a little cool 37 well it just changed to 38 degrees <laughs> but yeah y'all stay tuned we'll get you some footage here all right so we have made it into st louis traffic isn't too bad not like i was expecting anyways need to get on i-70 right here then we'll ease right on through st louis and into Wentzville, make our delivery. And uh, it's usually always a drop here. It's uh, supposed to be a drop this time too. But yeah, there's, uh, there's St. Louis, everybody. I don't know how well you can see it on the GoPro, but there's the arch and the big city of St. Louis. But yeah, there you have it. I'm gonna end the clip right, right here and I'll catch y'all back when we get to where we're going. Alright, we're almost there. I got about three quarters of a mile left to go. Um, it's up here on the left. It's been a while since I've been here. I've been here a couple of times, but it's been a while. Um, the place is kind of tight. When you go down, you turn left and go down in there and it's uh, on the right. But as I mentioned before, normally every time that I've been here, they have me to drop it in a door. Well, when they have you to drop in a door, that sets you up for a uh, sight side back. So you're able to, uh, you know, turn in and then the doors are over on your left. So you're able to do a sight side back into the doors. And then the trailers, the empties are directly across in front of that, which would be on your right. Um, 
I really hope that they don't make me uh, drop the trailer in the yard or you know over where the empties are or the other trailers are because then I'd have to do a blind side and this place is kind of tight the best I can remember and I really don't think that you can go up in there and have enough room to turn around but we'll see um, I mean I'll get it either way depending on how tight it is I may have to uh, back into one the side that one of the doors are on and you know pull out to be able to get turned around but we'll see maybe they'll uh stick to what they've uh done in the past for me they, it's kind of funny because usually every time that i would come here there'd be somebody like standing at a door it's like they see me coming or something so when i pull up in there they'll be pointing at the door like right here <laughs> They got this boat up here. I was going to mention this boat, but I didn't know if they still had it up here or not. And I didn't want to talk about something, then I'll be able to see it. But that's not the boat that I'm. Oh, there it is back there, the blue one. They actually got a couple of them, but they uh, build race boats there. When I come here with my trainer, uh, when I was on his truck, he told me that they actually race. I think he said that uh, they build them, but that place actually has. A race boat that they race don't quote me on that it seems like I remember TJ if you're watching this uh, comment down there and correct me if I'm wrong but I want to say he told me that they had their own personal boat that they raced as well as building them but yeah like I said I was gonna mention it before I just remembered that and I didn't want to mention it you know leading up to coming here and they'd be like yeah but here's the place where the boats are well where'd they go and then y'all be sitting there like yeah this guy don't know what he's talking about <laughs> So here we are right here to the right. I'm gonna get pulled in here and the doors aren't up. It's kind of cold today. So normally they'll have a door or two. Oh man, big bump. Normally they'll have a door or two up and they usually, you know, will point me to a door, but I don't see nobody in a door now. So I'm gonna cut the video right here. I'm gonna go get checked in and see where they tell me to go. All right, so that was easy. So uh, they told me to drop in any open door. So I guess that's uh, why before people I said when I would come in, there'd be usually a door or two. There'd be a few doors up actually, but somebody would be standing there pointing like right there. I guess it really don't much matter. <clears throat> but yeah, any open door. I didn't get my trailer set up quite right, so I'll probably go on down here just so I'll have room to set up or actually I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go right there beside that one I was gonna go beside that reefer unit but the back of my trailer hadn't quite kicked around enough yet so we're gonna put it right here beside that US Express That was actually the first time I've ever been inside the building. Um, I told the girl in there that checked me in, she said, have you ever been here before? I said, yeah, it's been a long time ago. And she said, well, nothing's changed. Just put it in any door and drop it. Your empties will be across on the other side, which is right here. Um, I told her, I, I told her, I said, yeah, this is the first time I've actually been inside this building. I said, normally when I pull up, there's doors open and people standing there like hey put it right here she started laughing she said well welcome this is what the inside of our building looks like <laughs> oh but yeah i thought that was kind of kind of comical i said comical comical <laughs> i said comical what the hell you know it's sad i just watched that mirror but with the daggum rain and road spray and all that crap this morning has got it all dirty again. Can't really see crap. These, I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll show you for those of you that probably don't know. I don't think that I've done, been anywhere as far as filming that has this kind of chalk. It's like they call it automatic chalk or whatever. I got to back my tires on that metal grate that's back here. And then they got a chalk that's on an arm that you pull out and put 
in front of the tire and it actually um, locks in locks into the grate they don't always work like they're supposed to some of them can be aggravating my luck since I'm trying to show you all this one this will be one of the aggravating ones <laughs> Go lock my tandem since I'm dropping the trailer, leaving it here. But yeah, you have to get your wheels on this metal piece here, and then you'll pull that chalk down right there and lock it in. So I don't know. I don't know if they got like a something on the inside that can like lock them once you put it in front of the tire to keep it from like moving. Um, I don't know. I did one the other day there. Um, uh, might help if I release the brakes. I did one somewhere. What was it at? I'm gonna pull up and get over just a little bit more because my inside tires wasn't quite all the way on that metal. But I did one, I think it was up around Charlotte somewhere the other week. But the spring in it, the spring loaded when you pull the arm out. But when I put it there, the, the it didn't want to stay. The spring kept pulling it up. So it was just like sitting there. It didn't really lock in like it's supposed to. But that's why I say, I, I don't know if they got a way to like lock it from the inside once you pull it out or what. But I don't like them to be honest with you. I mean, I don't know why. I don't really have a reason as to why other than not all of them work properly like they should and what's wrong with grabbing the big rubber block putting it in front of the tire <laughs> it's easy <laughs> i mean you're definitely not saying it's hard by no means but you know power shock I don't know. No, that one goes in. See, the last time, last time I tried to put one in, it hit the door, so I couldn't go in the middle. So that's why I was going to the front of the tire. Because the last one I tried to do, it just wouldn't work that way. But that one did. Ah, oh, nice. Did I mention it rained on me? <laughs> but um yeah what was i saying oh yeah uh the last track i had that i tried to put the wheel chalk on i tried to put it in the middle between the wheels and the arm was hitting the door so i couldn't get it in there that one went so. could remember if I did or didn't. Um. While I'm out of the truck, she said all empties are on this side, but while I'm out, I'm gonna walk over here and just be certain. Because my luck, for whatever reason, I'll back up to it. It'll be loaded. <laughs> I've actually done that before. I'm going to tell on myself. I'm not perfect. I'm human. But I went somewhere. I don't even know where it was. Can't remember. Anything like that. All I do know. All I do know. Is that this place. They told me where the empties were. 
and they said all the trailers in such and such area are empty I said okay so I can grab any trailer from over there they're all empty yep so I back up to the trailer hook up to it go around to the back it's got a daggum seal on it it's loaded I mean can't blame nobody but myself I should have double checked I mean, just because somebody told me something don't mean I can put the blame on them, you know? So, it's all on me. I should have just went around and double checked, kind of like I did here, you know? I'm not saying that the lady's lying to me, telling me that all these are empty, but you never know. If I check myself, then, you know, that's what it is. If I don't check, I can't blame nobody but myself if it's loaded. You get the point. See what this guy's doing. Guess he's pulling in to get a load. Just didn't want to pull out and be in his way if he was coming through down here for any reason. Yeah, I'm gonna clip the video right here. I'm gonna get out, hook the trailer up. I'm gonna hit my empty call, and then I'm gonna wait on my next load, see where they send us. Y'all stay tuned. There's the old Mississippi River. So they are sending us to Alton, Illinois. We're coming up here to the Imperial Manufacturing Group. I think this one, yep, Imperial Manufacturing Group to pick up a load and we're taking it all the way down to Valdosta, Georgia. So they're giving me some good miles these past couple of days. Really, really good miles. But yeah, I've never been to this place to pick up before. My battery is fixing to die, so I don't believe that I'll be able to get myself turning into the place. But I will get a new battery in it after I get to the place and get stopped. Regardless if it cuts off before then or not. Um, but if it does, I apologize. But if not, I'm still going to change the battery once I get there. It actually brought me around <clears throat> to the other side. I was headed back down towards St. Louis coming out. And then I turned off. But I didn't go through St. Louis this time. I actually turned off to the left and went around that way now that red light is really bothering me because i have a green turn arrow but the light turned yellow and then red that <laughs> kind of tripped me out for a minute but uh but yeah anyways uh i turned off and went around st louis and come over into uh illinois this way or that way rather <clears throat> let's see it's saying the place up here on the left so I'm gonna go ahead and get in the left lane I actually think that's the building I, I got to go around yeah this is it I was looking on the satellite I got to turn in here and go around to the back side and go all the way around the building so it looked unless they changed and well I do see I do see some truck trailers right here on this end so Maybe they changed it. Looking on the satellite view, it didn't look like they had anything right here on this corner. It looked like you had to go in and then where those trailers are, turn to the left. 
and then um, go all the way around to the back side. And of course, the battery did die. I figured it would. I think I got the bad battery. I got one battery that's going bad on me. But anyways, I pulled over as soon as I turned in to uh, so you guys can see where we're going here. I hadn't been here before, as I said. So of course, I'm gonna bring you guys along. Let y'all get the full experience. seen signs back there when I came in and said the Imperial shipping and receiving this way and so far I am having to go around to the back like I said that I saw on the uh, satellite hmm let's see I'll probably get over here so I'm out of the way I guess I'm gonna cut the video right here. I'm gonna make sure I'm not in his way and see if I can find where to check in at. All right, so it's a good thing I parked where I did anyway because that's where you're supposed to park at. And shipping and receiving door was just right there to the right as I got out. It is a live load. Going in door 20 right there have to disengage from the trailer unhook once we get in there I have to slide the tandems chalk mm, excuse me chalk the wheels unhook from the trailer first pulled in that creek truck right there was in front of me and I, I mentioned to y'all that I, I was gonna go uh, ask him if I was in his way but as I started walking up there he um, he started driving off driving up this way and he kept looking this way so I thought it was fixing to turn in one of these doors I kept watching for him because usually, you know, they'll kind of look at you if you're in the way or give you some kind of notion to know you're in the way. Or but anyways, uh, I thought that he was coming to uh, one of these doors over here. Apparently not. He was going right there, and that's right where his truck is, is where I was parked at. As you've seen, I pulled up behind him. But, but yeah, um... <laughs> I come out and he's sitting there on the side. He was sliding his tandems. So I mean, he was waiting for me to move, but he was still sliding his tandem. So he wasn't quite ready to get in the door, but I was all in his way. Ready against it. I didn't even feel myself touch the door. Let's go check and see what that looks like. Right. Oh yeah, we're good. Alright, like I said, I have to disconnect from the trailer, so I'll go ahead and do that now. They say that somebody will come out and get you when they're done loading you here, so that's good. I hate watching the green light, watching the green light, because it's like, what's that saying? They say that watch pot never boils. A watched green light never turns green.
all right and that is that all right so that's gonna do it for this video i think and uh i want to tell y'all as always appreciate y'all watching if you like the content be sure to give me a thumbs up i'll catch y'all on the next one peace